Are Tom's guitar parts really as basic as we thought they were? Or were they a little bit more? The new Tom DeLonge Stratocaster from Fender will have you running to grab your P bass to strums power chords so fast that your elbow dislocates. But seriously, if you were a Blink-182 fan when they first came out, your back probably hurts. For all the Zoomers who just jumped in on the pop punk and emo is cool again trend, this video is for you. For all the aging millennials, it seems like nostalgia is the word on the street these days, whether it's the We Were Young festival, My Chemical Romance getting back together, or just collecting way too much Pokemon merch. Call it sad, but with the state of the world these days and the fact that none of us will ever be able to own a house, can you really blame us? Today we're going to find out if Tom DeLonge's guitar parts were as basic as we thought, or if they were a little bit more interesting than everybody seems to remember. Now, let's talk the pop-punk guitar style. Today, here, I have my old Fender Stratocaster from 2012. Fender didn't send me the Tom DeLonge Stratocaster today, because I'm not part of the Cool Kids Club yet, but if you want to help me get one step closer to that super shallow goal, like, subscribe, and share this video with all of your friends. Now that we're past that, let's get rocking! You guys ready? Let's do it! I've got my Hurley t-shirt, my pop-punk pants, and my checkerboard Vans hat on. Let me know what your favorite pop-punk song is down in the comments below. You ever notice how a lot of punk pop songs seem to borrow from Paco Bell? Paco Bell? Paco Bell? <laughs> Today I want to talk about whether or not Tom DeLonge's guitar parts were as simple as we thought that they were. And they are. But that doesn't mean that they're bad. For instance, the end part of Blink-182's All the Small Things. Like, Tom's guitar parts are not that simple, honestly. Like, check this out. Right? It's not super simple if you're a beginner, but it is cool. If you want to get some power chords going on, here's all you have to do. Take your one little finger right here, put it on a note. Go a fifth up from there, so if you're on the third fret with your first finger, fifth fret with your second finger, and then put your pinky on the fifth fret of the next string down. And if you're on either the top E string with your first finger or the A string, you're going to get a really cool sounding chord. And you can move those all around and play all kinds of stuff. And that's why pop punk and emo music is so great. You guys get rocking. Have an awesome day. Like and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time.